guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Now, you're probably going to be seeing my face a lot in this video. It's because the camera, the angle of my camera, where it's at, uh, like I have no choice but to show my face a lot. So, I'm trying to ignore that. So, anyways, we're going to be doing a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom double review. First, we're going to take a look at the Velociraptor Blue basic figurine, and then we're going to review the Action Attack Stegosaurus. So, yeah, sit back. So first off, we're gonna take a, a oh my gosh. First of all, we're gonna take a look at Blue. So her packaging is really cool. It's very 3D. And um, you can see Owen in Blue. Blue is right there. And it says Velociraptor Blue, and it says Attack Pack. This is actually a, called an Attack Pack figure. That Those are all like the smaller figurines. I reviewed the Attack Pack Dimorphodon. You can check that out on my channel. So then it says um, Posable, so you can pose it. Then on the back, it shows all of the other um, Series 1 Attack Pack figures you can get. And there's the Dimorphodon that I reviewed, so you can check that out. Anyways, let's unbox this guy. Or girl. It. I also forgot to mention that they, in the box, they put a it looks like a little breather hole for the dinosaur. That's pretty cool. It makes it feel more like it's an actual, it, like it's an actual capture cage. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, now let's unbox it. Here she is. You can see there's actually a surprising amount of detail for such a small figure. I mean, it's a $7 little dinosaur toy, so... It's really good for its price. You can see all the great detailing and the scales go all the way down to the tip of the tail. Really good paint job. It's basic, but it works. I also just noticed that there's actually in the mold for like the plastic, the plastic itself, there's actually a bunch of tiny little black beads. And I don't know, that just gives it more depth and detail. But, um, they could have still have done, like, maybe a little bit of dry brushing to maybe, you know, like, pronounce the texturing a little bit more, but, hey, it's a little $7 toy. Yeah, it, it, it works. I, I like this toy, even though it has a very sort of dull paint job. Oh, seriously? It didn't paint the claws? What the heck? I'm gonna paint those. I'm gonna make a, I think I'm gonna make a custom. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of touches on this, and then I'll review it. Okay? And also, it's worth noting that parts of her are actually made of rubber, like, especially her arms, so you can move around her her claws, make it look like she's slashing something, like slashing its guts open, and um, also her tail is sort of a pliable rubber. I wish there was a bendy wire in it so you could um, pose it however you like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Speaking of posing, let's get to the articulation. So first of all, the mouth opens. How far can it open? It opens about that wide, at least mine does. Yeah, you can see the little details in the mouth. The teeth are sort of painted slightly lazily. I might do that when I make my custom. It's like, it's almost like the, the paint that was meant to be the teeth is like the, the skin around the, around the tongue. It's not even on the teeth. I don't know, that's kind of strange. And then, uh, anyways, then there's um, arm, forearm articulation that goes 360 degrees. And also leg articulation goes uh, about that far back, and then it and then it um, goes about that far up. Yeah, it's not it's not 360 degree movement. But yeah, that's all the articulation, and there's also the articulation is the same on the other limbs. Also, here's the QR code. There's also really nice sculpting on the feet. I just noticed that they got the toe claw, right? Finally, this one has a toe claw. Hasbro's Raptors had no toe claws. They looked ridiculous from the last from the last movie's toy line. Finally, this one has actual claws, like the, you know, the tabby toe that goes like Now the feet are really out of proportion, but that is only so it can stand. I'd rather have big feet that can balance the figure than life-size feet that just make the figure fall over every time you try and pose it. So that was the Attack Back Blue. Next, let's take a look at the Action Attack Stegosaurus. First of all, her packaging is really nice. It says Stegosaurus and it says Action Attack. Then you get the picture of Owen in blue, and then you get the Jurassic World logo. I still do not understand why it doesn't say Fallen Kingdom. People are going to be thinking there's another Jurassic World called Jurassic World. And then um, there's a picture of the how the action feature works. Interestingly, 
this Stegosaurus is sort of more airbrushed than the actual product. What it makes sense is because they're using, a, you know, sort of a prototype on the boxing, so it looks better on in the package. But it still looks amazing. Don't I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, on the back it shows yet another airbrushed um, version model of the of the actual product, and it says tail swinging action, and it says Stegosaurus. Wait, different languages. Stegosaurus, Stegosaurio, Estegosaurio, Stegosauri, Estegosoro. Wow, that's a lot of languages. And then you get um, all this other information. And then you get pictures of other stuff that they have. So there's the Action Attack Stegosaurus. You can check that review out on my channel. And then there's the um, Roarvores um, Baryonyx and the Roarvores Triceratops. Now, these have not been reviewed yet. Hopefully they will be soon. Anyways, let's get this thing out of its box. So here she is out of her box, and I'm not gonna lie, this Stegosaurus is absolutely magnificent. It is so well made, and it looks, ex apart from the colors, it looks exactly like the Stegosaurus that's in the Move Me. I mean, Move Me, <laughs> Move Me. I, I meant to say movie. So anyways, you can see all the great detail. Like, look at that face. The face sculpt is amazing. It looks literally exactly like the Stegosaurus that's in the movie. Wow, that is super good. Except um, the coloring of the Stegosaurus in the movie is much more different than this one. Uh, in the movie, it's a much more swampy green sort of color. Yeah, there it is. I don't know. I think they're trying to gear more towards the classic Kenner Jurassic Park toys. So it's because that one's coloring looks um, like very, it was very light greens. Like, like here's the picture right there. Yeah, I think this that's what this one is trying to gear towards too. However, its overall body shape resembles the Lost World Jurassic Park Kenner Stegosaurus a lot more. So it's kind of like a combination of the two. The colors of the first Jurassic Park toy Stegosaurus and the body shape of the Lost World Jurassic Park Kenner Stegosaurus. Anyways, next let's look at her articulation. So first of all, her head can move up, I mean down about that far, and it can go up that far. And uh, its legs can go that far up, and it can go this far down, and it, can, it has an outward pivot. Now all of the legs have the outward pivot, like, like this one. Yeah, the legs are really cool. And also the tail has a lot of articulation and that tie-ins with the action feature. So the action feature, there is a um, one of the back plates right here. Um, if you press it, um, its tail will swing. That's its action attack feature. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's very clever. It really resembles the Lost World Jurassic Park Stegosaurus action feature. As a matter of fact, it's identical. Also, here's the QR code. Also, it's worth noting that the back plates are made of a soft sort of pliable rubber, except for the one single back plate that activates the action feature. So it's like safe for kids. And also the, the little, the spikes on the, the osteoderms on the end of the tail are also pliable rubber, so it's safe for kids. It's because it's mostly kids that are buying these toys. So yeah. Like, like these might be, if these were made of plastic, it might be dangerous for the little kids, so they made it rubber. When really, I think it would have been cool if the whole thing was rubber, so it was like the real feel skin thing reborn. Oh, and also the underside of the belly is really nicely sculpted. And there's also that sort of antique white color. Yeah, that's really nice. And it stops, the only thing is it stops all of a sudden, like, um, like where the tail articulation made the seam. I wish they'd fade it away, like do with the Carnotaurus. Like, hang on, let me show you the Carnotaurus. The action attack Carnotaurus. Like, see how this one sort of fades away before it gets to the tail? They didn't do that with the Stegosaurus. I think they should have done that. That would have been really cool. So that pretty much tops off the review of the action attack Stegosaurus. Right, let's put her on the table. Now this is something that I like to call my dinosaur stampede. So every Mattel Jurassic World toy that I get, I will put it on this table so it's sort of, it looks like a dinosaur stampede. Like there's a ton of like a herd of crazy looking dinosaurs. So yeah, there's the Stegosaurus, which we just reviewed. There's the Dimorphodon, the little Matchbox toy, 
We've reviewed that with the Battle Damage Herrera Source. Oh my gosh, that video got thousands of views. There's Claire who comes with the Gyrosphere, the Gyrosphere Blast Vehicle with a Gyrosphere inside. And there's also little baby Dimorphodon. And there's the Roarvores Allosaurus, which has been reviewed. All of this has been reviewed on my channel. There's the Action Attack Carnotaurus. Here's the Indoraptor getting ready to chomp on a mercenary. And here's Blue posing with Owen. If you are interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for a couple of more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews.